Like everyone else, I myself have a morning routine. However, mine is a little bit different. You see, when I go in to brush my teeth in the morning, by simply setting my phone down, my car automatically begins to warm up. Then later, as I grab my coffee and I head downstairs and I'm putting on my shoes, a brief tap of my phone to the side wall automatically opens the garage door. Then when I come to my car to place my bag into the frunk, I touch my phone on the bumper, which causes the frunk to automatically open. Again, later if I ever need to access the charging port to plug in a charger or to unlock my charger and remove it, I can just touch my phone on that and it magically opens. And if you remember my video about the automatic frunk and the automatic trunk, if you're one of those that has that, you remember that the caveat was that you couldn't close them from within the vehicle. Well now, just by placing my phone down on one of the center console lids, the frunk auto closes. I'm gonna show you how to set up automation similar to the ones that I just showed you, coming up. So first I wanna start off by thanking our sponsor, Tesletter. Tesletter is a weekly Tesla newsletter delivered straight to your inbox in an easy digestible format. If you're not like me and spend hours on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and Clean Technica and Inside EVs reading all the latest and greatest news, but you still wanna make sure you don't miss anything important regarding Tesla, make sure you subscribe to Tesletter. It's free, easy, and believe it or not, they sometimes have things that even I don't know. Yeah, you can sign up at testletter.com. Now, before we get started, I do want to call out Reddit user Sharif Zebra, who was actually the first one that at least I saw to showcase how to do these kind of automations with your Tesla and your iPhone. It was because of his video that I explored it and now I'm creating a video for all of you guys. Now stay tuned till the end of the video if you want to find out how you can win a startup kit to get started on your own automations. Let's start off with what you're going to need. First, you're going to need an iPhone. More specifically, an iPhone 10s, 10R, 11, or 11 Pro. These are the only four devices right now in Apple's catalog that support passive background NFC reading. And I'll get into what that means later. Now, what is NFC? NFC stands for Near Field Communications, and it's actually what Tesla uses in their key cards. You were all familiar with the Model 3 key card. Inside this key card is an NFC tag. When this tag is read by your car on the B pillar, it tells the car to unlock. When it's put down on the center console, it tells the car to run. And so similarly, we're gonna be setting that up with our own custom tags. This is an NFC tag. You can see it's as thin as paper and they're actually quite affordable. A pack of 25 of these is actually about $10 and you can get them in a sticky format so that you can peel them and stick them anywhere. Now, what does this NFC tag do? What well, allows your device to read it and trigger an automation. Now pair that with a application that taps into Tesla's APIs and the possibilities are endless. So along with an iPhone 10s, 10R, 11 or 11 Pro, you're gonna need some NFC tags, which can be found on Amazon, and you're gonna need an app to pair with that. I currently use the Stats app. I love the app because it gives me access to tons of data and information about my car, but along with that, it gives me access to the APIs to control certain aspects of the car, such as using Siri commands to unlock and lock the car, to open and close the frunk and the trunk, to open and close the charging port door. Similarly, we're gonna pair those with these NFC tags to get things to work just by placing our phone on one of these. Let's get started on configuring this. 
Now, not to leave out our Android fans, I don't have an Android phone with me to test how this would work, and I'm not saying that it wouldn't work, but if you should figure out how to make NFC tags in a similar fashion to what I'm gonna show work with an Android device, leave it down in the comments down below for all of our Android fan base. We don't wanna leave you guys out, and I will go ahead and pin it such that everyone can get that knowledge. Let's get started on how to configure NFC tags with our iPhones to do things with our Tesla. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna need is an app that taps into Tesla's APIs. I like using the Stats app. I like the Stats app because it gives you access to tons of data about your car, your miles, your rated range, percent to charge, phantom drain, and so forth. When you go into the settings of the, of the Stats app and scroll down, you'll see an area called Siri Shortcuts. With Siri Shortcuts, you can actually configure all of these actions with Siri. For example, opening the frunk. Now, when you have an iPhone paired with a Apple Watch, it's just as easy as speaking to your watch, whatever you want, and it'll trigger your frunk to automatically open. That's one convenient way. But today we're gonna to talk about near field communications. So once you have the stats app, the other app that you're gonna need is shortcuts. Shortcuts allows you to create shortcuts and automation with things that are tapped into your phone and tap into apps, such as Stats app. Now what you're gonna need to do is go under automation. Here is where you're gonna create an automation. So let's go ahead and get started by hitting a plus. We're gonna create a personal automation and we're gonna scroll down and choose NFC. When you click on NFC, it's gonna give you the option to scan the tag. We're gonna click scan and then it's gonna ask for the tag. Simply take your tag and place it near your device. Let's go ahead and call this trunk. Now we've created it. We're gonna go ahead and hit on next and it's gonna ask you what do you wanna do now when that tag is scanned? We're gonna go ahead and add an action. We're gonna click on applications and we're gonna scroll down and choose the stats app. Now in the stats app, what do we wanna do? We wanna open the trunk. So we'll scroll down till we uh, find it, open the trunk. Now my car is called McFly, so that's why it comes up like that. And there you go. Now, I choose to say, don't show me when it runs because really I just want it to run in the background and just do the activity. Go and hit next. Now, one thing I wanna call out is down here at the bottom, ask before running. If ask before running is left on, the action will not run automatically as it will wait for your confirmation. So if you want it to run completely automatically, we wanna turn off ask before running. Go ahead and click on done and now you're all completed. You'll see here are the other ones that I've created for opening the charging port that you saw, opening and closing the frunk, preconditioning my car, and the new one that I just created here, trunk. So now this NFC sticker tag can be placed anywhere. Okay, so ideally if I take my phone and I scan this tag, the trunk should open. But I think the key thing to understand here is that these are just merely stickers. So you can place them anywhere. It's about how you're creative and what works best for you. So here's an example. You could put this on the back of your badge. So when you're coming to your car from work, just tap the badge and your trunk opens and unlocks just makes it really handy, one less thing to have to fumble around with, or if your hands are full. It's kind of nice and easy. So let's go ahead and see if this works. Unlock my phone. You do need to have it unlocked for this to work, and scan the tag. You'll see that the message comes up, and the trunk opens. So let's talk about how much easier this is from how it was before. So. So typically you would unlock your device, you would go into the Tesla app, you'd click on controls. From controls, you would click on the trunk. It would ask if you want to confirm, you would hit yes. And the trunk would open. 
Now, I don't know about you, but that's a five-step process, which is quite cumbersome. So next came the Stats app, and Stats app made it actually really, really easy. So now let's talk about how it got better with the Stats app. From the lock screen, actually, your phone could be completely locked if you just swipe right and click on the trunk of the Stats app. It opens. So that's two steps. But now with the NFC, it's gotten even easier. With the NFC, all you have to do is unlock your device and just touch it onto the tag. It's so easy. Now you know how to automate your car and make simple, clean, and cool automations built into normal everyday activities around your house, going to and from work, within your vehicle, and so forth. I'm really curious to see how you guys creatively use automations with your Tesla. If you have any good ideas, leave them down in the comments down below. If you stayed all the way to the end, I wanna tell you how you can now get started with a startup kit on NFC automation with your Tesla. So I've teamed up with the Stats app, and what we've decided to do is give out a free copy of the Stats app, plus three NFC stickers to three lucky winners all you need to do to win is make sure that you're following both myself at Tesla underscore Raj and the Stats app at Stats Tesla app on Twitter. Make sure you tag both of us and post a video on how you would use NFC to automate life with your Tesla. We'll be choosing three winners at random in the next week and we're gonna send you out three NFC tags plus a code to get the Stats app for free. If you enjoyed this video, hit this video with a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you have any questions on what we covered today or anything of that sort, leave them down in the comments down below or feel free to shoot me an email, raj at teslaraj.com. I'll catch you guys around and happy automating. Happy automation. Automate your life. Automate your Tesla. Tesla automation, NFC, life. Whatever it is, have fun. See you guys next time.